When you're dealt a different hand of cards at birth, you grow up searching for an opportunity to show the world what you're made of. When you do the hard work and the day comes, that's when dreams in the real world come on. So we're at the start line here at the Half Ironman. The ladies are just taken off. I'm about to take off in uh, five minutes' time. I'm feeling pumped. Can't wait. It's been six months in the making, but we'll see what happens. Uh, well, I knew we could do the swim okay. The ride, you know, probably the worst thing that could have happened is it fell off. Uh, and the run was probably just the fatigue, I think, and then the hips and that sort of thing. So they were the, the main concerns. He's a competitive beast, so his mental strength's amazing. Tell him he can't do something and he'll prove to everyone he can do it. I have a rare form of dwarfism called diastrophic dysplasia. All the joints in my body have a lack of cartilage. My spine has severe curvatures, so it looks a bit like a roller coaster from Movie World. I definitely don't know anyone else who would be uh, attempting this sort of sport with my disorder. When I got on my bike, I was just double checking I had everything on. Colin, my bicycle coach, she's let go a little bit too early and my old cheese was on the other side, she was watching. And that's when it scoots down, just yelling out to Colin and me, me mum just to say, uh, pick me up, I'm fine, just get me up quick, we don't want to waste time. And off I went. I've coached Tour de France riders, world championship riders and Olympians and I, I know that you know you need several ingredients in an athlete to have success. One of the most important is the, the drive, the ambition, the self-motivation. He doesn't need somebody barking at him, he doesn't need a coach propping him up. He's self-sustainable psychologically and I just learned that the harder the programs got, the better he went. Oh mate, go hell, just about took 50% of my sources. Uh, well, right now I'm about to go down the hill of death, so woo! He was averaging just under 22 kilometers an hour. When you equate that to, say, somebody on a full-size bicycle with the open gears that they are able to push around, he was equating to approximately 41 kilometers an hour. And that's up there with the pros and the elite riders. When we left the hospital when he was born, they didn't give him much hope of walking at all. His makeup in his joints are different to ours. So he doesn't have the cartilage. So like an arthritic pain, he probably has that. Something similar to maybe 50, 60 year old. And he's only young, he's only 26. That's how he goes about life, I suppose. He doesn't see anything that he can't do. That's how we brought him up. You know, well, I'm not gonna go and do that for you. you. You can do it yourself, you know. You've got a brain and a mouth and a, and you can physically do stuff. So he does all that and when he wants help, we, we help him with whatever he wants to do, so. The run definitely was pure guts because uh, when he started the run, he was almost dehydrated. And I knew after about five k's into the run that he was going to start to hit the wall or what we call in cycling, he was going to get the knock. The left knee and the left hip was striking me a bit of pain. But I'd come this far, you know, the 1.9 km swim, 90k ride, and he had about 10 kilometers to go. The pain was just going through the roof. After a gruelling 7 hours and 48 minutes, Scooter's body gave way. The uh, boys down south were a bit sore, so I had to hop off another breather. 
The Paralympian putting his body on the line for a sick girl from Atherton, raising more than $1,500 for an insulin pump. He's aiming for $9,000. There's a young girl, her name's Justine, I don't know if she's here, but she had a rare form of type 1 diabetes. In an instant, if only for a few moments, the pain vanished as Justine emerged from the crowd. It was an emotional end any parent would be proud of. He was getting a big, bigger cheer than the, the guy who won Hot the race, shots. you know. <laughs> so... Kind of blew us away, yeah. really. Where you were standing, you could hear the crowd actually cheering and you knew something was happening and then your scooter would come around the corner and you think, oh yeah, that's, that's what they're cheering about, you know. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a good day. This was a one-off opportunity. Who knows if I'll ever do this again? Probably not, but I'm never going to say never. Now it's just a memory. Uh, but I'm glad you know, I didn't give up because I'd be very disappointed about that. You watch this guy do what he does and you are motivated. He motivated me. That's what he does. He's a motivator. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. This was one hell of a shooting day in 2015, but such a privilege to witness this legend put himself through the grind like he did. The next mountain to climb for Scooter is the Tokyo Paralympic Games. Big shout out to our sponsor for this video, FSW Shoes. FSW is a family business. Their online store ships around Australia. So if you like this story and happen to need some shoes, do us a solid and head over to fswshoes.com.au. That's it for this Good Shout Friday. We'll catch you next week.